Hey guys, it's Izzy Show Busy from Red Hits. We're back with Alan White from Bishopstown Community School and he's giving you some tips and tricks for the Leaving Cert at the moment. Uh, the last one that we want to talk about today is taking care of your mental well-being. So during exam times, you're super stressed, you might be a little bit anxious and you're saying to yourself, oh my God, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Um, I'm not going to do this. Uh, I can't. And you start thinking really negatively. And the more negative thoughts that you think on a regular basis it just makes you become a negative person and we don't want that to happen because I suppose the more you believe in yourself and the more positive you can be, that can really affect your exam results then, I suppose. Um, Absolutely, it can affect your exam exam performance Mm. Um, and what tends to happen is that when we go down that that road and those thought processes of I can't, I'm not good enough or I'm never going to get everything done, um, we can get ourselves caught up in what what I call a kind of a negative thought feedback loop in Mm -hmm. that that's what we're telling ourselves all day, every day. Yes. And that wears us down. That um, increases our stress, um, increases our anxiety about the exams and, and, it wear, and it wears us down. Now, where that comes from, it's it's called it's called our negativity bias, which we tend to see the negative in things before we see the, posit- the positive in it, which is good I suppose, in a lot of ways because it, it keeps us away from danger, physical danger. But I, mentally, it, it can be detrimental t- to us and it can be detrimental to our performance in big events coming up, such as the exams. Mm. So the, the challenge, I suppose, is is to start looking at what your, your, your strengths are, um, mm. it, what you're good at, what you have achieved already. So if you look back, everybody has some achievements that they can look back on and kind of say, look, I was able to do this, therefore in the future I'll be able to handle this. And what I see in students every single year is that students are way, way tougher than they give themselves credit for. They're way more capable than what they give themselves credit for. And they're way more they're way more able than what they give themselves credit for. And they, they need to remember that at this time that you you are so much more capable than what, than what you think you are, you know. Yeah, and I, I suppose you were saying there, I always call it like a kind of neg- negative spiral. So mm. you might you might um, start off thinking one or two negative thoughts and then it just becomes what you're thinking all the time. Um, but it's also important to be realistic at this stage as well because we don't want to go to the complete opposite side of the spectrum Absolutely. where you're really, <laughs> really overly Absolutely. confident Absolutely. in everything Absolutely. that you're doing. Um, so how would people find a happy medium there, would you say? Um, I, su- I suppose the, what, you, what you need to do, is, is, as you said yourself, is be, is be realistic about it. You know, um, mm-hmm. Look, perhaps I haven't done as much as I would have liked to have done, but I have done some things and you know, I am capable and look, I've gotten such and such marks for, in my pre-exams, for example, I can do a little bit better on that and you can you can manage it that way by being, being realistic with your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Not, we're not asking anybody to change from being, oh, I'm not able to, I'm going to be the best ever and I'm going to get 600 points. You know, that, that is, that is un- unrealistic. But I suppose what you can do is that we, when you're getting these negative thoughts or when you're getting the negative thought spiral is you ask yourself three questions and I might just have a quick look at those yep. questions there. So they are, are these thoughts kind to me? And I mm. suppose practicing self-compassion at this time is it's very, very important as well. You know, so, so that's just giving yourself a bit of a break. That's, you know, if you are doing your best or if you're not doing your best, you are going to do your best, you know, or, or you're do, you're doing what you can. Yeah. Um, are they helpful to me? So, you, what you, if you really look at your negative thoughts, you you will find they're not very helpful. They're preventing me from maybe sitting down to do my study, or they're preventing me from performing, or maybe preventing me from going out exercising, or connecting with my family, or whatever that may be. Mm. Um, so I, you need to ask yourself: Are these thoughts helpful to me? And the final question is: Are they really true? And what mm. you'll find is that when you're what's called catastrophizing, yes, which is I suppose you're, you're in this negative thought pattern and you're imagining the worst case scenario of you know, for every outcome of of, of the exams, mm. um, you 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 tend to create kind scenarios of scenarios in your, for yourself. In your head. That, like you might say yeah. to yourself, like, "Oh my God, I'm the worst at yeah. this," yeah. and then you need to kind of pull yeah. yourself back from that and say, "Is that actually really is true? Is that actually really true?" You know I mean, that's a very important yeah. question to, to ask yourself as well, and. It's not true. It's it, it's it's never yeah. true. So, so the the scenarios that we create in our own minds are the the story that we tell ourselves or about ourselves mm. when it's negative is very rarely true. Mm. Um, if it's not if if at all. You know? So it's really important to see the negative patterns that we all, yeah. Like and it's really regardless of doing your your leaving cert or not. This is really good. Um practicing for later on in life as well you know what I mean like you learn um, at the leaving or maybe it's the first really stressful time mm. that you're you're mm. going to find in your life mm. so these are just really good skills to have throughout your, your whole life of, of learning not to be negative and stuff like that so it's really good to learn it at the leaving cert and it can really help you so much so if you are being very negative I suppose uh, you need to identify with that and maybe would you say from previous videos you could take a break and connect with your family or do a little bit of exercise or just take a break and, and um, kind of tell yourself 
you know, I'm not going to be negative about that anymore because that's not doing me any favours here today. Absolutely. Um, and, and taking take a break, connect, connecting with people, um, exercise again, all fantastic ways of, mm. of, of breaking that cycle. Um, as, is, as is writing things down, you know, so writing things down that you're good at, for example, writing down some of the positives or some of your strengths as well mm. um, as, an, as a quick exercise can of, often refocus the mind into, into what you are good at, what, what are your strengths. And it can just build up your self-esteem and your confidence a little bit as well. That totally. I, actually, I'm, I, I'm, I'm good at a lot of things. Yeah. Um, so I can sit down again I can maybe try again a little bit. But that's know? actually a great idea even to have in your copybook at some mm. stage if you write down five things that you are good at and the next time you're doing, I don't know, practicing French or Irish and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, how am I even doing this? And you can just flick the page and go, well, do you know what? I'm good at those. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, just, and I suppose it just gives you a little bit of a boost as well. Um, and I suppose, I think it's important as well to remember that look, the, the Leaving Cert, it, 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 it's the Leaving Cert is an important exam, but you have to remember that the Leaving Cert isn't going to define anybody. Exactly. You know, in, in 10 years time, I, I couldn't tell you what I got in my Leaving Cert. I'm sure a lot of people couldn't. Yeah. Couldn't tell, couldn't tell about three or four years on what they got in the leaving cert, you know. So, what you do your best, you do what you can. There's lots of different options out there um, these days, thankfully. So, the, there's a path for everybody. Yes. Yeah. And you're nearly there, so hang in there as well. Thank you very much, Alan White. Um, there's more information about this on redextra.ie and stay tuned to our social media channels for more videos.